congratulations on your win. Uh, just briefly talk me through it. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I come out relaxed, ready to go, ready for everything. Um, to be honest, I've trained with this guy before, mm -hmm. two years ago, after my first oh, MMA fight. I had like so a you had an idea? Of I did, like but it was basically, I was grappling him, but he was already injured, so we weren't going hard. Mm -hmm. And I remember at that time, he was so much stronger than me. But that was two years ago. I was like, I just 18, now I'm 20, so it's a big difference. I can see he's like 30, that's when he's 28. He's already at his peak, you know? Mm. Um, but yeah, like now, I feel like how much I've developed over two years. I can see it. I trained with him, and I remember I rolled with him. He grabbed the Kimura, he had it for like three minutes. I was too, I wasn't strong enough to get out of it, you know? Mm. And now I feel like. Do you have strength, so to speak? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you still young. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, obviously, you, you know, just talk to me about the finish. Yeah, first round finish, Rina Control. I was ready. I wanted to, You want first round finishes, but you also want some cage time, but I'm just happy he got the win. Yeah. Um, he went for a takedown and he kind of fell on his back and then just went from there. Not all the time. What about, what about you guys? What have you got to say about it? Um, very impressive. The best flyweight in UK. There's so many other flyweights, like 10 and all, 11 and all, but they're not stepping up. They need to step up. <laughs> they're not there. Step and um, like our brother here, Muhyiddin, he wants to fight the top guys. So if there's any top, if you think you're top flyweight, just step up, man. It's only a sport. Don't get politics and all this stuff uh, involved in it. No names. <laughs> I see. I can't say name. He says it. <laughs> it felt like you spent longer in the crowd taking selfies than you did in the actual world fight. That must have been more natural. I feel like I spent more time in the crowd than warming up, man. It's like I come out the fight. I sold. I sold 30 tickets. There was not 30 people there. There was a lot. Like, today, someone came and bought 17 tickets. So that's already like, man, this is crazy. It gets a, gets too much because like this guy wants a picture, then this guy wants it, and then. Obviously, I've got to come do interviews, and it's just madness. So, it's really, um, on your flag, what's the, the country? Somalia. Somalia. Um, okay, uh, plans for 2019, ideal world. Ideal world. Have you got a scratch on you uh, first round? So six you weeks, my next fight, Cage Race Academy, another belt. Is that in Colchester? Colchester, Colchester. Cage Race Academy so. Southeast, and then July. Um, July, maybe we defend this. November, I'm at the Championships, Bahrain. And then. And what about turning pro? I think after that, maybe. Yeah, so yeah. next year or so. Yeah, yeah more or less next year. Um, finally, shout out sponsors and your social media so people can follow you. Instagram, m.abubakar98, uh, Facebook, my account, Muhyiddin Abubakar, and my athlete page, Muhyiddin Abubakar MMA Fighter. Um, what's up now, Jake? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Yes. laughs> my sponsors, Uma Combat Association, Mesmerized Contact Lenses. PT Academy, submission, combatives, giving me my shorts and stuff. Uh, um, fitness Food Factory, helping my weight cut, prepping my meals. Best weight cut, no sauna, no bath. And CBD Sensei, Boku, everyone that helped me um, in Chechnya. All my aspiring partners, guys who helped me day in, day out. Murad Kalamu, Mouladi, Mamad Yasayev, and the list goes on. Barakallah. Any closing words from you guys? Top quality stuff. That's it. <laughs> Top man. Cool. Please, someone fight him that's decent. <laughs> that's my question.